Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make some over the top creamy mushroom pork chops. So the pork chops I have right here are blade cut. Okay, so they're not going to be dry. They'll be moist all the way through. All right, so we're going to work on our sauce. Here I have one brick of cream cheese. Okay, it's uh, room temperature, so it's fairly soft. Okay, we're going to add in, it's super easy, okay, it's super easy, you don't have to be a chef for this kind of thing, but it ends up tasting super wonderful. So we have one can of cream of mushroom soup, I'm going to put some milk in there, and just kind of squish it around, get the rest of the soup out, because we don't like to waste nothing. There we go, pour that in. Alright, we're going to use a second one, dump that right in there. And I'm wearing a glove because I'm going to work it with my hands. Because I mean, to be honest, doing that, mashing that up with the fork, eh, it takes a little bit. So we're going to pour that in, get the rest of the soup out of that one. We're going to toss in one cup of sliced mushrooms, another cup of sliced mushrooms. We missed two, toss those in there. Here I have a bowl of, um, this is the jalapeno cheddar mix so we're going to put that one in it's going to have lots of flavor okay we're going to do a shot of garlic powder there we go you don't need salt the soup is salty enough we're going to add some pepper and we're going to set the oven to 350 degrees so 350 we'll get that started and we're just going to use our hand if you're too bougie for your hand, you can fork it. Ah, it's not going to kill me. And we're just going to mix this up really good. All right, how simple and easy was that? So in our glass dish, I've already laid out the pork. There we go. See how much faster it is to use your hand if you have any gloves lying around? Beauty. Okay, that's it. And now we're going to pour this right over top of the pork chops. Okay, so let's bring the pork chops over. There we go. Pick up the bowl and just get it all in there. Beautiful. All right. Now you're going to be shocked at how good this actually tastes. So just smush that around, move the meat around, make sure it's underneath on top that it's nicely covered. There we go, simple. See, there we go. And then you're gonna take some tin foil and we're gonna cover this up and throw it in the oven at 350 degrees. And we're gonna let it cook for about an hour. And then we're gonna come back and you'll see that it's a little bit saucy. So then we'll take the tin foil off. So let's make sure it's covered, there we go. Make the edges a bit cleaner, okay? Boop. And tin foil. Done. How long did that take? And we're going to toss this in the oven. Okay, and we'll come back in about an hour and we'll check on it. Okay, so it's been an hour. I'm going to pull it out, let you see what it looks like. Okay, it's a little bit loose. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make, I guess it's called a slurry, if you want to be fancy schmancy. We're going to use some of the cornstarch. All right, I have a bit of water here. That's a little bit too much. We're just going to put a couple of heaping spoons or forkfuls in here. There we go, we'll do two and a half. Give that a stir. Okay. Now she's piping hot and we're just gonna pour a little bit here, a little bit here, mix it in. And then we're gonna put this back into the oven and it's gonna thicken right up into a nice thick cream sauce. All right, so the pork is already cooked. There we go. And we're not going to cover it. Perfect. All right, you can already tell it's thickening up already. Beautiful. See that? It's already starting to thicken up. 
All right, I'm gonna throw it back in the oven for a little bit longer and we'll come back when she's all done. Okay, so 10 more minutes in the oven has thickened it up. And we have our side salad. Now you can put this on top of pasta or you can do this on rice. Tonight we're gonna to put this on some, a side with salad. Okay, let's find another big one here because this is for the old man. Oh, there you go. Okay, and there is the nice mushroom cream sauce on top. And there you have it. This is how I do my creamy pork chops. So if you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching.